bacterial genomes genomes of bacteria small organisms carry high coding density because they are prokaryotes they are small organisms but they have high coding capacity it means that 85 to 90 percent of their genomes is coding in nature we can say that approximately in case of prokaryotes or in case of bacteria one gene is present per approximately 1000 bases in the prokaryotes there is a large variation in genome size between the bacteria or between the prokaryotes genomes of bacteria manifest that there is large variation in the size of their genomes here we have the two examples the first example is of a bacteria tremblia princeps the genome of this bacterial strain consists of 140 kb and there are 121 coding genes which are present on the genome of tremblia princeps while on the other hand an other bacteria that is sorangium cellulosum the genome of s cellulosum consists of 14000 kb in size while there are 11599 coding sequences so we can see that there is a large variation in the genomes of bacteria on one hand we have seen that genome of one of the bacteria is 140 kb on the other hand the size of the genome of an other bacteria is 14000 kb while uh, by considering the variation in the number of genes in case of uh, tremblia princeps the number of genes they are 121 while in case of sorangium cellulosum the number of genes are approximately around about to 12,000 here we can see the comparison of the number of genes on different genomes of microorganisms like in case of pseudomonas we can see the number of genes then in case of E. coli, the number of genes is approximately 4,289, Bacillus subtilis, 4,100, Myobacterium tuberculosis, 3,918, Helicobacter, 1,566 genes are present on the genome. So this is a comparison that how many genes are present on the genome of different microorganisms this is another example about the distribution of genes among selected bacterial genomes and their size here we can see that the genome size in mb in million base pair and the number of orf coding orf that is this is the percentage of the coding sequence of the genome so in the first example we see the genome is of 1.67 megabase pair and the number of orf mean the coding dna sequences are approximately 1885 which becomes 89% of the genome same are the example for other strains of bacteria for other types of the bacteria we can see that most of part of the genome of the bacteria in different types of the bacteria is coding here we can see the coding dna is 89% 93 92 87 then uh, uh, at the end we can see that 90 percent of the genome 
of bacteria is coding in nature. So we can say that in case of prokaryotes, there is very less sequence of the DNA that is not coding in nature. And other example about the distribution of genes among selected bacterial genomes and their size. Here we can see that in the first example, uh, the coding DNA sequence is 87% and the maximum we can see that it can be up to 95%, then 89%. So this is the second example where we have seen that the size of the genomes, number of the genes and what is the percentage of DNA or what is the percentage of genome which is coding for specific either RNA that have RNA genes or it can be polypeptide producing genes. This is a pictorial view of one bacterial, uh, bacterial genome. So here we can see that this is a small portion of the genome of uh, Pseudomonas. Uh, this is the uh, circular DNA of Pseudomonas, genome of the Pseudomonas and this is a, a small portion of the genome. In small portion we can see that all these genes are located in this small portion of the genome of Pseudomonas. So in case of prokaryotes most part of the genome is coding. If we conclude about the bacterial genomes, a small organism, they carry high coding density, means genes, they are placed side by side. Uh, there is no, almost no intergenic DNA. Almost all the sequence of the genomes is coding in nature. Although there is large variation in the uh, genome size of the bacteria.